welcome back uh, this is the final video of the stripe payment gateway step-by-step -step implementation video series right if you follow this uh, all the video series if you remember that last video we faced some issues right so we we have some kind of trouble for from dealing with third party stripe api and also our payment uh, was uh, unsuccessful those there are some few more issues we faced right we struggled in the last video so in off camera i fix all the issues right for you so now we have some kind of working uh, example right so i did some changes and so there are few more changes i have to do i especially i added some enums for sending the current type so check it this out so i i'll uh, if you go all the codes here you can identify this is the uh, very important service right so i did some few more changes here as well so go go to step by step you can get idea and so special things i have had some extra methods as well so those are i have, i'm not going to use in here but uh, if you go each step by step you can uh, learn uh, more than about its type payment gateway api right so how we can call for each uh, third party api and so on and so on so you got the time go to the service class so you can get the idea right so some of the method i am not going to use here but uh, if you integrate this stripe payment gateway in some industry level standard so you have better if you can use here right so don't worry i will upload this uh, source code in this video description you can get this source code and check this out right this is some kind of working example so at the end of this video i will supposed to give some tips to improve this source code into industry level and some kind of uh, uh, some kind of advanced features right so stay with this video at the end of this video i will tell you some points here you can improve the source code uh, as a real world example right so now this work uh, this project is run on top of this spot so i'll just show a demo so again i am repeating go to this service class right you can get the idea because all the methods i'm not going to use here right so other than that guys if you get the payment gateway you can uh, in so in this example example i'm only showing one time card payment but uh, if you got this uh, there are some lot of more right so if you if you defining the payment gateway not only one time payment you have to re do some recursive payment right the and subscription in right right if you want uh, you can um, transfer balance in between two accounts like there are some more features right if you want drop me a comment so i'll i'll implement that kind of thing, especially schedule implementation right you you have to have some schedule implementation guys right? so when you're developing payment gate because um, they say you first time you're going to do a payment to your card but next month onwards uh, if if the subscription is available you need to recursively do a payment in monthly wise right you have to, you need to send the pay slip and so and so on done by uh, schedule right so how if you if you interest that kind of things drop me a comments uh, i'll develop that kind of schedule implementation for this recursive payment and right so drop me a comment so if you interest so then i can implement that kind of implementation uh, right so okay so then i will show you how this is working right so if you better if you you, you can use this uh, internet explorer so 
so all this in integration as i said in my beginning so we need to hit this url and system use id this is some kind of uh, unique id and this sample like uh, the amount you need to check out right so if you hit this you can see this nice view so those are done by oh, just example so you can change right so you know where this is temperatures come from right so here you can see in this uh, template section you can see checkout payment error result right this is the this is the checkout example i am created using mailchimp so you can change in your own way right so here you need to this button especially come from third party api site right? so once you click you can view this uh, dialog box is come from uh, stripe so i need to test card so i am opening this as a new tab so here you can collect more card right so i use this card as example so here i specify my email actually this is my email just a sample so here i'm facing this card so uh, and this data as you also click it's going to read it uh, the success page right should check success page and you can see payment is going to succeed so if you go to the portal you can see it will create a new customer record as well as um, payment record as well so i'll show that as well in later so now you can get the idea right how this is working and how this is look like so this is happen only this few of these classes this so go through this so when, once you get this all good uh, just go through this each method right this is the starting point uh, just uh, so this is the email i am going to hit right this is the starting point and i am sending this data and it's lead right to the checkout right? and finally the the response which is come from the stripe sign is hit this uh, url right so it and uh, do this uh, our implementation right so if you go this uh, check out i have put some kind of uh, yeah this is i have mentioning you need to read this api in the post right that's how this is working so charge this is the post api in heat right so this uh, actually this is some kind of javascript inbuilt uh, api which is given from stripe right and this is this is the one this is script and show this uh, pay a button right so this is how nice it is very easy if you rather than when comparing others uh, the party payment gateways right just a script you need to mention in here right you need to pass this data and you can uh, do your stuff right so go with this uh, each step if you if you get trouble uh, drop me a comment so i'll help you to integrate this fully integrate the system right then i'll go to this portal and i will show you how this is variable created okay guys so this is the portal right you can see this is the customer we created right so if you go through this uh, uh, code you can realize so if you if you stay with this video series from the beginning you know right so when a stripe uh, how is this payment happen first you need to get a customer we choosing customer we have we can get uh, some kind of token and we have some token exchange and we do we are checking this is token exactly correct or not then what happen is finally doing the payment right before going to the payment right we need to get the customer right so this is the customer we created we go through the code you can identify right there are two steps before the payment happen so here you can see 
our dollar three hundred dollars is we get in touch is the card number right so this is the customer right so if you go to the payment right so you can see three hundred dollar payment is there so payments done by this customer and payment was successful there are some brief implementations there and so yeah right so that is this so that is how payment happened we had the pay customer object and for this customer object doing the payment right other than that guys there are some subscription features you can see there are more fee invoices and there are few more pages there if you if you need to that kind of information if you like you like so drop me a comment so i will will give some support right and this implementation also if you got some kind of trouble please let me know so i'll help you as much as i can right so then guys so we have successfully completed this uh, stripe payment integration video series so if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and put the like button and share this video if you have some kind of uh, uh, this similar interest people share with this uh, to share with this video so then they also can learn this amazon so this, this kind of new things so share this is resources and comment if you if you, if you find something comment so so then guys so we'll we will meet again in a new video series okay um, till now so stay safe and see you